Hello everyone, it's me Sanjay Vasu back again for another video. This time it's on a Cambridge Lower Secondary Checkpoint Science Paper 2 for April 2020. Let's start. Question 1. A. Farmer breeds goats for their milk. A. The farmer uses selective breeding. These are the steps he uses. They are in the wrong order. So we have these five steps A, B, C, D, E. Put the steps in the correct order. What has been done for you, which is the third step, E. So, what's the first step? Let's read these. He reads the female goat with the male goat. That's A. Which female goat are we talking about? He repeats the steps for gener several generations. Which steps? Choose the female goat that produces a lot of milk. This sounds alright for the first step, because you need to choose a female goat before breeding it. So, first step is C. Second step, as I just said, is A, to breed it. Third one is E, to the female offspring that also produces a lot of milk. Next, he breeds the female offspring with a male goat. That's the next one. And finally is B, he repeats all of these four steps for several generations. B. The characteristic the farmer chooses in his female goats is producing lots of milk. Suggest so one other characteristic the farmer wants in his goats. One thing is quite obvious is that even if you get a lot of milk, if it's not a proper milk or it's not healthy, that means it won't be of any use. So he needs healthy milk. C. Natural selection is the way new varieties of animals form in the wild. Which scientists developed this idea? Circle the correct answer. Out of these five scientists, only one is correct, which is Darwin. Question 2. Aiko wants to increase the rate of reaction between sodium carbonate and dilute nitric acid. A. Match the way that she can do this to why this works. So, there are only two straight lines. Way, increase the temperature of the nitric acid. Over here, more crowded particles, so more collisions. No. Particles have less energy, so more collisions. These two are completely opposite, so that's also wrong. Particles move faster, so more collisions. If we increase the temperature, particles gain more kinetic energy, which means that they move faster. Therefore, this is actually correct, and can match this. Now the second one, increase the concentration of nitric acid. More crowded particles, so more collisions. Well, if you increase the concentration of nitric acid, it means there are more nitric acid particles, which means that actually the particles are more crowded, and therefore there are more collisions. So that's also correct. Increasing the concentration of nitric acid doesn't make the particles bigger. That's why this is wrong. It only makes them more particles of nitric acid. B. Lumps of sodium carbonate react more slowly with dilute nitric acid than powdered sodium carbonate. Use ideas about collisions to explain why. So one thing we can notice if there's a huge lump of sodium carbonate. This is a lump of sodium carbonate. If it's placed inside a circle of nitric acid particles, that means what will happen is only the outer layer will get reacted and then the inner layers will take more time to react. But if you have powder of sodium carbonate, all of it can react at once. That's why it reacts faster. Using ideas about collisions, we can say that more collisions occur when sodium carbonate is powdered. More collisions occur when sodium carbonate is powdered. If it is in lumps, only the outer layer of the lumps 
will react first. There will be less collisions. That's the answer. Number three, can you already draw a distance time graph for the journeys? So we have a distance in meters over here, and we have time in seconds. Use a distance time graph over here to answer the questions. A, how many meters did Chen move in the first eight seconds? So what we need to do is we can draw a line from time in seconds, eight seconds, up here. And when we line it up, we can see it lines up with 86 meters. That's the answer. B. How many seconds did Yuri stop moving during his journey? So in Yuri's journey, that's the dotted line. We can see that the horizontal line is where he stopped. And if we look very closely into the graph, you can see that Yuri starts stopping at 3.3 seconds. That's when he stops moving. And then he finishes it at 8 seconds. That means he continues moving. So, number of seconds which you we stop moving is 8 minus 3.3, .3, which is 4.7 seconds. That's the answer. Part C, average speed can be calculated from the graph. 1. Complete the equation for average speed. Average speed is simply equal to distance by time. This is the formula. That's the answer. Part 2. Calculate UV's average speed during the whole journey. So, the amount of time taken is 18 seconds, and the amount of distance traveled is, if you look closely, 110 meters. We can draw the line over there, which continues to 110. Therefore, UV's average speed is 110 over 18, which is distance by time, which is equal to 6.11 meters per second. And this is the three significant figures. That's the answer. Let's go to question four. Question four. A. Look at the picture of a camel. Camels live in hot, dry deserts. They have many adaptations to help them survive. Complete the table to explain how a camel's adaptations help it survive. The first one has been done for you. So the adaptation is the fat in hump only. Explanation. So that the rest of the body has less insulation. Large flat feet. We know for one thing that deserts have a lot of sand. And it's very easy to sink inside the sand. Like quicksand, for example. Quicksand is very easy to pull you down. But these large flat feet help them to not sink inside the sand. Now, thick eyelashes. There's a lot of chances for sandstorms in deserts. And because of this, camels have thick eyelashes. But what is the relation between these? It's because sandstorms can cover the eyes. So thick eyelashes help so that sand does not reach the eyes. Sin does not reach the eyes. Does not produce sweat. This is a bit obvious because we obviously need to conserve water in deserts. And that's pretty much it. Because if we sweat, we lose some water. B. Animals that live in the cold have different adaptations. So just two adaptations that help animals survive in the cold. So one is quite obvious. A blubber for conserving heat. And the second one can be thick fur. Because, like, you know, polar bears have a lot of fur. So I'm just writing this with respect to polar bears. 
but you can let it be the spec to any other animal. Question 5. Mike makes a solid called magnesium sulfate. He adds magnesium to dilute sulfuric acid. He keeps adding magnesium to dilute sulfuric acid until no more hydrogen gas is given off. So unreacted magnesium is left in the magnesium sulfate solution. A. Describe how Mike separates the unreacted magnesium from the magnesium sulfate solution. This is quite easy. Just fluctuation. No need anymore, just fluctuation, nothing else. B. Describe how Mike makes a dry sample of magnesium sulfate from magnesium sulfate solution. It's also quite easy. Slow evaporation. Of water. From solution. See? Write the word equation for the reaction between magnesium and sulfuric acid. So first we have two reactants and we have two products. So two reactants are with there. Magnesium and sulfuric acid gives magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen hydrogen gas that's why it's saying that in the question until no more hydrogen gas is given off question six Lily and Angelique use the internet to find this information about evaporation. Evaporation can happen when liquids are hot or cold. Evaporation is related to the energy of molecules. The rate of evaporation can change. So when air pressure increases, the rate of evaporation decreases, as shown by the graph. When energy of molecules increases, the rate of evaporation proportionally increases. What happens to the rate of evaporation when air pressure increases? I've just said this. It decreases. B. 1. What happens to the rate of evaporation when the energy of molecules increases? It also increases. I just said this as well. That down one way, the energy of molecules could be increased. This is very simple. Just heating or making the temperature increase. That's the answer.